So good evening to one and all present here. Myself Arul Sulon, Assistant Professor CSC from Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology. Now I am going to present a video about decision trees, sorting and searching in decision analysis of algorithms. First we will see the basic definitions. Important algorithms like sorting and searching are based on comparing items of their inputs. The study of the performance of such algorithm is called a decision tree. As an example, figure 5.1 presents a decision tree of an algorithm for finding a minimum of three numbers. Each internal node of a binary decision tree represents a key comparison indicated in the node. So this is the decision tree for finding a minimum of three numbers. First we are comparing a less than b. If it is true, then we are comparing a less than c. If it is true, then we are printing a. If it is false in a less than c, then we are printing c. In the root node, if a less than b is false, then we are comparing b less than c. If it is true, then we are printing b. Always we are printing C. And this is the decision tree for the three element selection sort. First we are comparing A less than B. If it is true, then we are comparing A less than C. If it is true, then we are comparing B less than C. If it is true, then the condition satisfied is A less than B less than C. Or in the internal node B less than C, if it is false, then the condition satisfied is A less than C less than B. In the internal node A less than C, if it is false, then we are comparing B less than A. If it is false, then the condition satisfied is C less than A less than B. In the root node A less than B, if it is false, then we are comparing B less than C. If it is true, then we are comparing B A less than C. If it is true, then the condition satisfied is B less than A less than C. Or in the internal node A less than C, if it is false, then the condition satisfied is B less than C less than A. In the internal node B less than C, if it is false, then we are comparing B less than A. If it is true, then the condition satisfied is C less than B less than A. And this is the decision tree for the three element insertion sort. First we are comparing A less than B if it is true, then we are comparing B less than C if it is true, then the condition satisfied is A less than B less than C. Or in the internal node B less than C if it is false, then we are comparing A less than C. If it is true, then the condition satisfied is A less than C less than B. Or in the internal node A less than C if it is false, then the condition satisfied is C less than A less than B. The root node A less than B, if it is false, then we are comparing A less than C. If it is true, then the condition satisfied is B less than A less than C. In the internal node B less than C, if the condition is false, then we are comparing B less than C. If it is true, then the condition satisfied is B less than C less than A. In the internal node B less than C, if it is false, then the condition satisfied is C less than B less than C. So the three element insertion sort whose decision tree is given in figure 5.3 this number we calculate as 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 how we got it is that is the for, for the first condition we have to travel two poles and for the second condition we have to travel three poles and for the third condition we have to travel three poles and for the fourth condition we have to travel two poles and for the fifth condition we have to travel three poles and for the fifth, sixth condition we have to travel three poles so that is what we are getting here 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 divided by the total number of conditions is 6 that is equal to we will get the average value is 2.66 so under the standard assumption that all n factorial outcomes of sorting are equally likely the following lower bound on the average number of comparisons made by any num any comparisons based algorithm in sorting of sorting an n element list has been proved c average of n greater than or equal to log base 2 n factorial will get so decision trees for searching a sorted array. Decision trees can be used for establishing lower bounds on the number of key comparisons in searching a sorted array of n keys. The principal algorithm for this problem is binary search. The number of comparisons made by binary search in the worst case is given by the formula that is e worst of n equal to the seal of log base 2 n plus 1. And this is the diagram which shows ternary decision trees for binary search in a four element array. So for the searching element we are comparing here with the root element a of 1. If it is lesser then we are taking a of 0 for comparison with the searching element. If it is lesser then we have to go beyond a of 0. Otherwise if it is equal then we can return a of 0 with the searching element. If it is greater then we have to take a of 0 and a of 1 for comparison. Or in the root element if the searching element is equal to a of 1 in the root then we can return a of 1 is the searching element. Or if it is greater, then you have to take a of 2 for comparison. In this, if the searching element is lesser than a of 2, then we have to go beyond a of 2 element. That is a of 1 and a of 2. If it is equal, then we can return a of 2 is the searching element. If it is greater, then we have to 
take af3 for comparison if it is lesser than af3 then we have to take af2 and af3 for comparison if it is equal then we can return the af3 is the searching element if it is greater then we have to go beyond af3 if it is and this is the diagram which shows binary decision trees for binary search in a four element array that is we are comparing the searching element with af1 if it is lesser then we have to take af0 for comparison if it is lesser then we have to take af0 beyond otherwise we have to take af0 and af1 for comparison or in the root element af0 af if the searching element is greater than af1 then you have to take af2 to compare if it is lesser then you have to take af1 and af2 for compare if it is if the searching element is greater than af2 then we have to take af3 for comparison or if it is the searching element is lesser than af3th element then we have to take af2 and af3 for comparison otherwise we have to take beyond af3 for comparison if it is so as comparison of the decision tree in the above the binary decision tree is simply the ternary decision tree with all the middle subtrees eliminated applying inequality inequality to such binary tree decision trees immediately yield c worst of n greater than or equal to c of log base 2 n plus 1 thank you